I play a whole lot of Monster Hunter, it's unhealthy, I spend way too much time, it's inefficient, I should stop. No, I'm not gonna stop. You wanna know why? Okay, so I talked about the weapons in my What is Monster Hunter video, right? And I talked about the monsters in my Everything I Want in Iceborne video. I got so many of those predictions right. But anyway, there's one thing about Monster Hunter that I haven't talked about yet, and that is the loops. This game got mad loops. These ain't your regular Fruit Loops, Apple Garage band loops. No, these are some gameplay loops. Okay, so the first Monster Hunter game I ever played was Freedom Unite, all right? And my progression stopped in its tracks when I reached the Tigrex. I was using Hammer at the time, getting absolutely bodied. I knew the Hammer just wasn't gonna cut it. I decided to try out a different weapon, so I made a simple ore-based sword and shield, went up against that Tigrex again, and finally beat him. And then, since I could beat him, I fought him a couple more times, gathered a bunch of his parts, and made a new sword and shield out of Tigrex bits. That new sword and shield had a bunch of really good stats that I used against the next monsters. This is Monster Hunter's gameplay loop. You fight the monster, you get the bits, you make the bits into the shits that fits, and then you do it again. It's so incredibly simple, but the entire game is crafted around this loop to make it one of the most satisfying gameplay loops in existence. And you're trapped in this loop, whether you like it or not. I mean, I hope you like hunting monsters, because that's pretty much all you can do in the entire game. So if there's nothing else we can do but hunt, how do we keep it fresh? Three things. You got choices, planning, and goals. So other than the quest required to progress the story, it's up to you to choose what monsters to hunt, but it's also up to you to choose your weapons, and armor, and armor skills, and all these other things. There are so many factors to take into account. Here are just some of them. How much defense does my armor have? What skills does it come with? Which weapon is effective against the next monster I have to fight? What level of sharpness does my weapon have? How many slots does it have? What level of slots are they? What slots does my armor have? Does my weapon have positive or negative affinity? Is it a slicing weapon or a blunt one? Does it have an element? Does it have a status? What is the rarity of its final form, which will determine how much I can augment it in the end game? What coatings can my bow use? What ammo can my gun use? How much recoil will those shots cause? How long will they take to reload? Will the bowgun modifications change? change the recoil and reload? Will my armor set look good? Do I need certain skills to improve my weapon's weaknesses? Does my armor set have good elemental defense? What decorations do I have? What charms can I make? Does my armor have a set bonus? Which is better, attack or affinity? Should I be focusing on DPS or quality of life skills? If I spent this time actually playing the game instead of worrying about all these details, would I have beat it by now? Why do I even play Monster Hunter? Why do I even exist Donkey Kong Country? So with all these options, where do you start? Well, you gotta check out the armor, check out the weapons, and make a plan. Come up with an idea. There is a beautiful creativity that comes with making a new armor set. I sometimes like to make sets that are just like, for one specific thing, they're, they're just really good at doing one thing. Here's an example. The bow in Monster Hunter has a special type of ammo called the Dragon Piercer, which travels through the monster and hits it like a billion times. Now the bow also has spread shots and rapid fire shots, and using all three is what makes the bow so versatile. But what if we threw that versatility out the window and just made the Dragon Piercer as good as it possibly can be? Well, for those who don't know, in Monster Hunter, you can deal critical hits, which do about 25% more damage than normal hits. Your chance of performing a critical hit is dependent on your weapon's affinity value. But there's a skill called Critical Draw that, when maxed out, will give your draw attack 100% affinity. Luckily for us, if we draw our bow, charge it, and fire a Dragon Piercer, it counts as a draw attack, meaning every pierce becomes a critical hit. Add on critical boost, and now every hit is dealing 40% more damage instead of just 25. But wait, there is more if we are wearing a certain number of armor pieces from the Ice Elder Dragon Velcana, we get another skill called Frostcraft, which boosts our attack while our weapon is sheathed. And since we are sheathing in order to get the critical draw, it will almost always be active. Oh yeah, there's also a skill for boosting the power of piercing shots by another 20%, so slap that on there. Oh, but wait, the Dragon Piercer counts as special ammo, which means we can add the special ammo boost skill, which will be another 20% boost. There's also a skill called Bow Charge Plus that lets us charge our bow even longer, giving us even more damage. Then we just need to find the bow with the high space raw damage that can also use power coating, which gives you another 
30% damage multiplier, put all this together and you can deal over a thousand damage per shot, even more on very large monsters. After all of those skills are in place, we are doing more than three times the damage with our Dragon Piercer than we were without the skills. And I mean, this is just one idea. If you can dream of it, you can make a set for it. Like, what if you just wanted every damaging skill in the game, like all the critical boosts, all the attack boosts, all the agitators, all this? Yeah, just stack as much as you can onto one set. You can do that. What if you never want to have to sheath your weapon to heal? Well, you can augment your weapon for health recovery and then get some skills that boost how much health you recover with that augment so that you are basically vampires zucking the monster throughout the entire hunt and almost never have to heal. Or better yet, use the sword and shield because you can use items while it's out. Add some speed eating on there so you heal incredibly fast. Eh, why not add some wide range so that all of your teammates also get those heals? All of a sudden, you can heal your entire party in seconds. You know, the bow has an evade move built right into it, so why not make a set that makes that go as far as possible and with as many invincibility frames as possible? Now you can just dance around the monster, shooting them the entire time and they can barely hit you at all. Or what about this? What if we took a heavy bow gun and uh, put all of the skills into boosting our spread ammo and then just made it so that we just walk up to the monster and shotgun them in the face? Sounds good to me. The amount of armor skills in this game really let the player play the way they want to play. If there's something you don't like, chances are there's a skill that makes it quick and easy. Don't want to wait to sharpen? Speed sharpening. Don't want to wait to heal? Speed eating. Don't want to have to heal at all? Recovery up and recovery speed up. Don't want to get hit? Guard up. Evade up. Don't want to play the game? Go for max deeps and kill the monster in minutes. There are just so many possibilities. I mean, there are even online tools that are made specifically to help you search for armor and decoration combinations that give you any set of skills you can think of. It's just a matter of coming up with an idea and seeing if it can be done. And once you get that all sorted out, this is the best part because you have your plan in place and you can just chill out, hunt some monsters, make your way to completing your plan, and it's great! I mean, you know exactly what you need, exactly where to get it from, how to get it, so you just sit back, relax, bash a dragon's head in while it writhes in agony until it stops moving, and have a great time. And then once you're finally finished your set, you get to come up with another idea, come up with another armor set, make another plan, fight some more monsters using the armor set you just made. It just, you just keeps going, and you keep getting newer and better things, until your loadouts look something like mine. Next thing you know, your playtime's at 600 hours and you don't want to stop because you just got out the idea, hey, what if I, uh, what if I made an armor set where uh, I only use jumping attacks and uh, also my, I use sliding what if attacks I made a great and it goes and does a lot of damage, damage right? but I never use What if I made a long sword set instead I just stay on the ground? What if I made a special uh, attack didn't put on any armor sword. and I just died? And, and I just did a ton of damage. Really good. And it doesn't give me any great skills at all. That's why I play the game like a normal person. Two thirds of my health, but I also kill him in like two seconds. Like, I look good range, enough of a player that gives people so die and and I I like really die because you really just, just dodge all these attacks on War Hunter and I only just grapple on the monster where I just like what if I made a set that only just put on the top and then just boosted how much KO I did until I was killing the monster every 10 seconds and that's until it didn't right so I'm tired of this barrel and then just switch to another set and because all of them are barrel bombs place more barrel bombs go back to camp restock on my barrel bombs place more barrel bombs just a barrel bomb and set just nothing but barrel bombs it would actually suck